Ether is one of the um, most popular digital assets and powers of Ethereum blockchain. Uh, back in 2018, then SEC Corporation Finance Director Bill Hinman, Hinman uh, stated that he believed Ether was not a security. Uh, last month, CFTC Chair uh, Benham expressed his view that Ether is a commodity. Uh, the State Attorney General of New York asserted in a court filing last month that Ether is a security. Clearly, an asset cannot be both a commodity and a security. Do you agree? Um, I, I, it, actually, all securities are commodity under the Commodity and Exchange Act. It's that we are excluded commodities. But I would agree that a security cannot be also an excluded commodity and an included commodity. I'm sorry, Chair, just to talk about the Commodity Exchange Act more precisely. Okay, so do you recognize... Uh, how would you categorize Ether then? Look, I think that the general sweep of what Congress did, not just in the 30s, but uh, as amended... I'm asking years, you, sitting in your chair it, now to make an assessment under the laws as exist, is Ether a commodity or a security? Without speaking to anyone... I know you've okay, repeatedly said that you're not going to speak to facts. one, except you've spoken to one, Bitcoin. So I'm asking you to speak to a second one, the lar second largest market cap here. And speaking to the tokens, there's 10 to 12,000. If there's a group of entrepreneurs in I'm the asking middle, about one. the public is anticipating a profit based on the... I'm asking you a specific question, Chair Gensler. I said this in private. This should be no shock to you I'm asking this question. Is, it an e is Ether a commodity or a security? And again, it depends on the facts and the law, and if there's a group of individuals... I'm asking about the, the facts middle. and the law sitting in your seat and the judgment you are making. And so, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, I think you, you would not want me to prejudge because I'm also... But you have prejudged on this. You've taken, you've taken 50 enforcement actions. We're finding out as we go, as you file suit, as people get Wells notices on what is a security in your view, in your agency's view. I'm asking you a very simple question about the second largest digital asset. What is your view? And my view is, is if there's a group of individuals in the middle, middle that the public is anticipating All right, so let me a just ask a second question then. Do you think it serves the market for an object to be, to be viewed by the commodities regulator as a commodity and the securities regulator to be viewed as a security? Do you think that provides uh, safety and soundness for, for, for the product? Do you think it provides consumer protection? Do you, see, do you think it serves the value of innovation? I think no should be a very simple answer for you here. I think that uncertainty is bad, is it not? And I think that Congress has said that there's one agency, the Securities and Exchange Commission, under this committee. And you won't answer my question, and you're the head of that agency. So give me a break. Come on. I'm answering it in the generic because you would not want me to speak about any one set of facts and circumstance. Okay, so, but you've already spoken. Have you said anything about Bitcoin? Uh, the, the, my predecessors and the agency itself has spoken to them. Okay, yes. but you're not willing to do the same about Ether. I okay, so let me just step back. There is a lack of clarity here in the marketplace. Can you at least agree to that? I think that the clarity is there. The law is clear. All that right. There's a group so let, of let me let me be let me be explicit on. about this. The market doesn't see it. Your regulatory actions and the CFTC's regulatory actions say that there is a great deal of uncertainty here. It is the intention of this committee to fix that uncertainty and actually uh, provide a sound legal basis for this.